spine beginning to turn our attention inward as we move from a place of thinking to a place of feeling. Just taking long breaths in and long breaths out. Noticing how the breath feels as it moves through your body. Allowing any tension from the day to just drift away on the exhale. Leaving the cares of the day behind you and just taking a moment to connect with the present moment. And we connect with the present moment by connecting with our breath. Noticing each inhale and noticing each exhale. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And another deep breath in. And a long breath out. And this time, as you inhale, I want you to fill your belly up with air, pressing your belly button toward the wall in front of you. And then as you exhale, emptying all the air out of your belly while allowing your shoulders to just melt away from your ears. So letting that tension fade away from your shoulders. Taking another deep breath in, filling your belly up with air. And this time, as you exhale, allowing the tension to melt away from your face. So noticing if you're clenching your jaws, if you're holding on to any stress in your jaws, letting that go. Noticing if you're squeezing your eyes shut, if you are just closing them gently, relaxing that space in between your eyes. Taking another deep breath in. and a long breath out. And then slowly opening your eyes when you're ready, bringing your hands down beside you. We'll inhale, reaching our arms up high, taking your gaze to your fingertips as you exhale, bringing your hands to heart center. We'll inhale, reaching arms up high, exhaling, bringing hands to heart center. Inhaling to reach them up. This time, as we exhale, we're gonna place a bend in our right elbow, taking your left hand and just gently pulling that elbow in. You may feel that along the right side of your arm, taking a deep breath in and a long breath out, maybe pressing a little more, being gentle with yourself. And we'll inhale to reach up, taking gaze to fingertips. This time as you exhale, placing a bend in your left elbow, gently pressing it down with your right hand. Being gentle, taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And we'll inhale, reaching both arms up high. This time as you exhale, we're gonna interlace our fingers behind our back and then just gently lifting your heart and gaze. So we're opening our heart here, pulling our shoulders back, coming into a slight back bend, a nice gentle one while we're seated. And then slowly coming back to a neutral spine, releasing your grip on your fingers, hands come down beside you. We'll inhale, reaching up. As you exhale, twisting to the left. Left hand comes behind you, right hand comes to your left knee. Taking a deep breath in, lengthening through your spine. And as you exhale, maybe twisting just a little more if it's comfortable, taking your gaze over your left shoulder. And we'll inhale, reaching up once again. Gaze looks at fingertips as you exhale, twisting to the right. Right hand behind you, left hand to your right knee. Taking a deep breath in, lengthening through your spine. As you exhale, twisting a little more. Gaze coming over right shoulder. We'll inhale, reaching up. Gaze comes to fingertips. 
As you exhale, we're gonna just bring our hands to our knees and slowly bringing our upper body forward. Once you've found your edge as far as you can comfortably go, releasing your hands, walking them forward, and then just coming into a seated forward fold. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Slowly coming back up to a nice tall spine and we'll go ahead switching out our legs. So whichever leg is in front, sending it to the back. Noticing any differences from one side to the other, we're typically more open or more balanced on one side than we are the other. So it's perfectly normal to feel a little bit tighter on one side than you do the other. Bringing our hands beside us. We'll inhale, bringing our arms out into a T position this time. Taking your right arm to your left shoulder. Left arm comes underneath right and we'll just gently Pull that right arm closer into our body. Being mindful of what's happening with your right shoulder. If it's creeping up by your ear, let's see if we can drop it down a little bit, keeping that tension out of our shoulder. We'll inhale, arms coming out into a T. As you exhale, left arm comes across, right arm comes underneath. Same thing with that left shoulder, noticing if it's creeping up by your left ear. If it is, dropping it down. We'll inhale, reaching out once again into a T. And again, we're gonna bring our hands behind us, interlacing our fingers, lifting our heart and gaze. Taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, coming back into a neutral spine, hands come down beside you. Bringing our hands to our knees, taking a deep breath in. Lengthening through your spine as you exhale, beginning to fold it forward. Finding your edge, taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, reaching your hands out, coming into a forward fold. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Tucking chin to chest and slowly coming back up. Beautiful. All right, let's come on to all four. So we'll bring our hands under our knees. I'm sorry, our hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips. We'll have to watch out for my teacher's assistant. She's taking over the mat. And we'll do our cat and cow, warming up our spine. So on your inhale, dropping your belly low, sending your gaze up high. As you exhale, rounding it in, tucking chin to chest, scooping tail forward. Inhaling, dropping belly low, sending gaze up high. Exhaling to round it in, tucking chin to chest, scooping tail forward. Inhaling, dropping belly low, sending gaze up high. And then coming back into a neutral spine. Sending your right leg back when you're ready left arm comes forward so we want to extend as far as we can through that back heel reaching as far forward as we can with our left fingertips on your inhale extending as you exhale bringing me to elbow inhaling to extend exhaling knee comes to elbow we'll inhale to extend once again and then bringing your hand and knee back down to the mat back into our tabletop. This time, sending your left leg back, reaching your right arm forward. So we're reaching that back heel as far back as we can, reaching as far forward with our fingertips as we can, getting nice and long. Inhaling to reach, exhaling, bringing me to elbow. Inhaling to extend, exhaling me to elbow. Inhaling to extend once again, and then lowering both back down to the mat and let's send our hips back to our heels reaching our arms forward coming into our child's pose just taking a deep breath in 
and a long breath out. Really focus on lengthening through your spine here, taking another deep breath in and a long breath out. Slowly finding our way back into our tabletop, coming onto all fours, taking a deep breath in on your exhale, tucking your toes into the mat, lifting your hips, coming into a downward dog. Imagining your body in an upside down V, really pressing your belly back toward your thighs, reaching those heels down toward the mat. So we're getting nice and long on our back side. Spreading your fingers nice and wide. On our inhale, we'll bend our knees, pressing our belly back toward our thighs. On your exhale, straightening your legs. On our next inhale, taking our gaze between our thumbs, walking our feet to our hands, coming into our forward fold. Taking a grip on opposite elbows. Maybe bringing a mini bend into your knees and just swinging from side to side. So we're allowing our head to hang nice and heavy. Relaxing your neck, maybe nodding it yes or shaking it no. releasing your grip on your elbows. We'll inhale, lifting halfway, just coming up to a nice flat spine. Maybe your fingertips touch your shins. As you exhale, folding it forward. And we'll inhale, sweeping our arms up high, maybe a slight back bend at the top. As you exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. On our inhale, sweeping our arms up high once again. As we exhale, taking a forward fold, bending your knees, planting your hands, stepping back into our downward dog. On your next inhale, we'll send our right leg up high, as high as you can comfortably send it. As you exhale, bending your knee, bringing it in close to your body, stepping that right foot forward. So we're coming into a lunge here. So you wanna make sure that your knee and foot are in line with each other. So if you have to move one and then the other, feeling free to do so. Once you find that your knee and foot are in line with each other, we're gonna come into our lunge, reaching our arms up high. Beautiful, taking a deep breath in. And as you exhale, maybe taking your gaze up and back slightly for a slight back bend here. We'll inhale, coming back to the center. As we exhale, bringing our hands down to the mat, stepping it forward for forward fold. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhaling the fold. Inhaling to reverse swan dive, sweeping our arms up high. Exhaling, bringing hands to heart center. Beautiful, taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. We'll inhale, sweeping our arms up high once again. As we exhale, taking a forward fold, bending our knees, planting our hands, and stepping it back into downward dog. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, sending your left leg high. As you exhale, bending that knee, bringing it in close to your body, stepping that left foot forward to your left thumb. So we wanna make sure again that our knee and foot are in line with each other. If you need to use your hand to move that foot forward, feeling free to do so. Once you've found your balance, on your inhale, sweeping your arms up high. So left foot is forward, right foot is back. Taking your time, rooting down through all four corners of your front foot, pressing strong through that back heel, taking a deep breath in. On your exhale, maybe taking your gaze up and back. Slowly coming back to the center, bringing your hands down at either side of your front foot, stepping it forward for forward fold. 
We'll inhale, lifting halfway. Exhaling to fold. Inhaling to reverse swan dive, sweeping our arms up high. As you exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Bringing your hands down beside you. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And another deep breath in and a long breath out. So we're gonna come into um, our balancing sequence here. So what we'll do is coming into our mountain pose, bringing our feet about hip width apart, rooting down through all four corners of both feet, and then bringing our hands to our hips or to our waist. Getting grounded in your left foot, we're gonna lift that right foot up. So flexing that right foot. If you need to hold onto a wall or maybe a desk or a chair, feeling free to do so. Taking that left hand to the outside of your right knee. So we're in a twist now. Beautiful. Extending that right arm. Maybe you take your gaze to your right hand. <laughs> it can be challenging a little bit. And then we'll come back to the center, bringing everything back down to the floor. Beautiful, let's shake that out, shaking out that right leg, shaking out the left leg, coming back into our mountain, and then bringing our hands back to our hips. This time getting grounded in our right foot, lifting that left leg. When you're ready, taking your right hand to the outside of your left knee, maybe extending that left arm out, maybe taking your gaze to your left hand. Breathing. And when you're ready, slowly coming out of that twist, bringing your foot back to the mat. We'll go ahead, shaking out that right leg, shaking out that left. Beautiful. And we'll do another balancing pose. So coming into your mountain pose, I'll turn sideways so you can see me. We're gonna bring our hands to heart center, getting grounded in your left foot, lifting that right leg up. And what we'll do is slowly bring it down and then extend it back. So keeping that right foot flexed, strengthening through that right leg, noticing if that right hip is above the left, if it is, dropping it down just a bit. Slowly bringing <laughs> that right foot back up and then bringing your right foot back down to the mat. Beautiful, dropping your hands, shaking out your legs. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll bring our hands to heart center, getting grounded this time in our right foot, bringing our left foot up. When you're ready, slowly bringing it down and then slowly extending it back. And when you're ready, slowly bringing it back up and then releasing it to the mat. Beautiful, releasing your hands, shaking it out. Now let's just separate our legs a little bit farther than hip width and we'll just twist from side to side here. Coming back into stillness. Bringing our hands to heart center, we'll get grounded in our left foot, bringing our right foot to the inside of our left leg. Now you can rest it on the floor or you can rest it on your leg. If you like, you can rest it on your thigh, anywhere other than your knee. When you're ready, sending your branches up and maybe out. We'll slowly bring our hands back to heart center, right foot comes back to the mat. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, getting grounded in your right foot bringing your left foot to the inside of your right leg.
When you're ready, sending your branches up and maybe out. And when you're ready, hands come back to heart center, foot comes back to the mat, hands come down beside you and we'll shake it out. So let's find our way down to the mat. And we'll come onto our backs, bringing your knees up to a 90 degree angle. Placing your hand on your thighs, right in the front. On our inhale, let's squeeze our knees together as you exhale, pressing into your thighs with your hands. We'll inhale to squeeze. Exhale to press. Inhaling to squeeze. Exhaling to press. Inhaling to squeeze, holding it here, filling your core engage. As you exhale, pressing. And then slowly bringing your feet back to the mat. Knees come out to the side, soles of your feet come together. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Bringing our knees back together, knees come into our chest and just rocking from side to side here. Coming into stillness, bringing your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Left arm comes out beside you and we'll come into a twist. Seeing if you can keep that left shoulder on the mat. If you like, you can take your gaze over your left shoulder. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Slowly coming back to the center. This time, left hand comes to the outside of your right knee. Right arm extends out beside you when you're ready. Taking it over to the left. Gaze comes over your right shoulder. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And then we'll slowly come back to the center. Soles of your feet come to the mat. And let's separate our knees once again. Opening up our hips. Resting your hands on your belly. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And another deep breath in. And a long breath out. Taking three breaths in at your own pace. slowly bringing your knees back together allowing your knees to touch walking your feet out to the side taking a deep breath in and a long breath out feet come back together and we'll just come over to our right side Using your arm to support your head and your neck. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And then a 
another deep breath in and a nice long breath out. And we'll slowly find our way back to a seated position, a nice comfortable seat. Again, whatever that looks like for you. Resting your hands on your knees. Deep breath in. As you exhale, relaxing your shoulders. And another deep breath in. And as you exhale, relaxing your face. Bringing our hands together to heart center. Ending our practice together with gratitude. Gratitude to our bodies and all that they offered us today. Gratitude for the ability to have a space to practice in both physically and mentally. It's been an honor guiding you through your practice today. It is my hope that each of you are safe and healthy. And until we meet again, the light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. I'm gonna unmute you guys.